Hi, this is Dr. Don. I have a problem out of chapter two where we're doing descriptive statistics and we're asked to find the five number summary and draw a box and whisker plot of this data. If you recall, the five number summary is just the minimum value, the max value, the median or Q2, and then Q1 and Q3, which are the 25, 25th percentile and 75th percentile of the data. And we've got to pick the right graph. We're going to do this using Excel, both with the built-in Excel box and whisker plot and the Excel 2016 and newer, and using PHStat. We're just going to click here, and then we're going to open an Excel. And we'll have the spreadsheet popping up shortly. Okay, I've got the data over here in Excel in column A. And the first method we're going to use is just use the native Excel box plot. I'm going to highlight the data and we're going to go to insert and graphs. It'll pop up there, all charts. And we look down till we find the box and whisker and we click OK. And we get a chart. I'm just going to expand this a bit there. And if we want, the, the problem we have, of course, is this is a vertical plot, but you can mentally rotate it 90 degrees. And you can see that we've got our maximum value there of 9 and a min value of 2, median of 7. And if we look over here in the charts, might have to blow it up a little bit. And we can see, yeah, min value 2, max value 9, median value 7. And it looks like about 5.5 and 7.5, and and which matches their values up here, of course. So this chart is close. These values look a little different, though, don't they? That's about, that's not 5.5, and, and that's not 8.5. We can get those values by just clicking on the chart, clicking on the plus, and we're going to add the data labels. And that gives us our five number summary. We've got the min value of 2. We've got a Q1 of 5.25, median of 7, Q3 of 8.75, and our last number, a max of 9. Fortunately, my stat lab recognizes that there are different definitions for these five numbers particularly for Q1 and Q3, those the first quartile and the third quartile, it turns out there's not a standard widely accepted definition for how you calculate those. But if we click in that box, we'll see that the correct answer, 5.5, if you do it exactly the way that uh, Larson and my stat lab want it, but it will accept 5.25 which is the answer we get over here with Excel. And similarly, we click in Q3, we'll see it will accept 8.75 as well as a correct answer, which is our value there. So we can use standard Excel to get the right answer here. PHStat is a little more problematic. If we go over here and we click on PHStat and we go to Descriptive Statistics and we go to Box Plot. And we've got to give it the data range again. I'm going to click there, highlight that same data range. No, we don't have a label in there. We've got a single group variable. And we need the five number summary. So I'm just going to click OK. And in a few seconds, we've got our five number summary. We can see that it's two to nine. But wow, look at the... First quartile is 5, and the third quartile is 9. And that makes my heart jump. But if we look over here in our allowable values, we can have a problem. Because the first quartile value of 5 is not accepted here. So I don't recommend that you use PHStat for box plots, the method that the uh, folks who created PHStat used for determining these quartiles uh, doesn't match anything that my stat lab recognizes. And if you look at the box plot, and click on that, we've got more problems there. You can see that it's horizontal, which is good, and we've got our minimum there. 
and we've got our median looks right, but it doesn't have that upper fence, so it would not match any of these. So don't use pH stat for box plots when you're working in my stat lab with our 233 course. It may work okay with different textbooks, but it doesn't work for Larson and Farber in my stat lab. So I hope this helps. And if it does help, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, The Stats Files. Just click the big red subscribe button. <laughs>